everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Le Plata, where we are going to be closing all the factories right now that do not quite work in our country. Because at this point, if they're not working, they're not worth it. <laughs> I mean, seriously, we have basically an industrial power country now, and we still don't have, like, some of this stuff working. It's, by my understanding, it's just never going to work. So, oh, whoops, I meant to collapse that. <laughs> so, yeah, anyways... We are also, I should also apparently say that we are also at war with the Skakato, and we are going to be fabricating claims on Brazil, because after a long time of thinking about it, yes, I do want to go after Brazil, and I do want to go conquer more land from them. So that's what we're going to go do. And apparently we are just destroying the rest of Skakato. Eh, that was not really that important. So, yeah, anyways, 9.8 infamy. Facts. Okay, let's see. Build up two more. Cavalry, yeah, we have to make sure we keep our industry, still build rifles, there we go, everything's in check, yeah, okay, and I'm trying to remember, sorry people, it's been like a week for me since I last played, so it's been like, I'm trying to think of everything that I'm doing and trying to make sure that everything matches what I remember, uh, we do have to, I think we have to change this because we have to make sure that all of our factories are being supported, so let's see, what's the second most, Le Plaz? The plaza is the next one. Okay, start supporting more immigrants there so we get more people. And there we go. Sakanto wants peace. And there we go, everyone. That was the war for Sakanto. A war I probably should have done a long, long time ago, but I was trying to be nice. And let's see, we have a ton of money right now. So I'm going to see if I can decrease this all the way down to 60. Can we, can we push to 60? Oh, yes, I think we can push to 60. This is going to be awesome. This is going to be awesome, guys. 60! 60! Yay! 60% 60 taxes on everything! That is awesome! Okay, oh, we could probably actually increase it even more! Wow! Um, but yeah. We're basically, I think for my future moves, I think I'm gonna go after Brazil. And I'm also gonna, I'm gonna go after Brazil for two reasons. One, I want actually to get Brazil, and two, I want to also conquer Venezuela. Because, well, why not? Let's go conquer Venezuela. <laughs> If we're going to be if we're going to be conquering Brazil, we might as well conquer Venezuela at the same time because Venezuela is allied with them, which would be pretty awesome to do. I would also add in uh, Peru to that, but Peru is out right now allied with two great powers. So what I'm going to instead do Peru is I'm just going to influence them and then eventually like kick the European powers out. Because I think basically what we have to do, people, is we have to start covering our bases. Before we start expanding any more outward in any other direction, we have to first cover our bases and make sure all European powers and North American powers, wink, 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 are all gone from our little empire down here. Because I don't like the fact that we could potentially get declared war on at any point in time and have to potentially deal with a, uh, you know, stupid battle of some sorts. I mean, it really does annoy me. And, ooh. What, what do we have here? Oh, an organized Nigeria! Yes! And organized a banking act? Yes! And consensuses? Yes! All those things I definitely approve of. So, yeah. We're basically gonna do that, and we're gonna have a swell time doing it. I'm moving my army into position to when I'm gonna go conquer, uh, Venezuela. I'm also... Do I... Do I make sure I do some stuff? I should get organic chemistry next, because I need to get those gas attacks. Because I think after this, after I completely secure all my bases over here in uh, South America, I want to go after China. Because China is just always an awesome place to go after just because of the high population and the fact that they have one of the best gold mines in the entire game. Oh, man, China's gold mine is awesome. <laughs> I think I'm going to go after them. So, I think that's my future plans. We're going to see how this all works, though, because I don't know if timing is going to be of, of necessary... Or what's going to happen. Growth rate's also going up. I mean, there's, there's a lot of things. There's a lot of things I have to deal with. Uh, but population, uh, I'm getting banned in Canada. Yeah. Canada, I'm almost believing I should give up on Canada. Because I feel like I feel like the British are just going to fight me tooth and nail for them. Um, <laughs> also, do I have an alliance with Chile? No, I do not. Huh. Chile, we're going to be friends now. And intermarriage. Romance is in the air of our provinces, where marriage between one of the provinces' immigrant sons and a local girl is being celebrated by friends and family. Some decry that the development is at the end of platine civilization, but the young couple sure 
Ah, uh, basically, do I like intermarriage or do I not like intermarriage? We wish them all the best, or a clear a clear sign of immigration must be. Hell no! Yeah, we wish them the best. We don't want. Are you kidding me? Immigration is like the best thing in the world for my country. I mean, my country was built on immigration, literally. Why the hell would I want like my immigrants to be all like? You know, maybe we shouldn't go to La Plata because they don't really approve of integrated marriage. Maybe we should go to America. I mean, look at this. America only immigrates about 1,000 and Canada only immigrates about 2,000. We immigrate 18,000, okay? We are better immigrants than America is, okay? Yeah, hell no, we're not giving up our immigrants. We ain't giving up our immigrants. No, are immigrants. But who the hell are you to tell me that we're giving up our immigrants? Also... Open up all factories and stop subsidizing them. I want to make sure no factories collapse for a little bit because it helps with our economy and helps with uh, with uh, growth, growth, which is what we need. Okay, and now that we got this, are we doing the Casas Bella? Yes, we are. Wow, I'm forgetful. <laughs> and we're still making a ton of money. So let's decrease this to like 55% taxes. Ooh, my goodness, 55% taxes. My people must be happy with me. I mean, they're, they're keeping 45% of the income. That's a lot, especially for my country. Like, usually they only keep about 20%, maybe? Maybe 20%? If I'm feeling generous, let's say 20%. Um, so this must... Lazy natives don't know how to adapt. Yeah, I, I, do love, I do love immigrants, but they also should adapt to my culture because I really don't like revolts. I mean, it's not the fact that I hate the cultures that come to my country, it's just... I hate the revolts that come with it. That's what I usually hate. Even though my country is like literally one of the most openest and most like uh, tolerant nations in the world. I mean, we literally have like so many different cultures in our country. It's literally insane. I mean, the pa Panama dividends, huzzah! Let's see, like, look at our culture. We have only 45% of our actual culture is platinum. Uh, that actually is now kind of worrying me. What What the heck? When When did this happen? <laughs> uh, man. I kind of wish we had... Wow, we have a lot of Africans in our country. Like, Africans so far makes up like 20% of our country. Uh, kind of wish we had the Irish back. I, I loved when we had like 20% Irish people in our country. That was awesome. <sighs> Why won't you come back, Irish? Why won't you come back? Okay, so now that we got the war goal... It's now time to declare war on Brazil, and Brazil, it's time for you guys to go down, and Chile, you guys will join me, thank you. Uh, Colombia, you guys will join me, let's do this, and if you guys didn't notice what region I took, it's this region right here, because I'm getting kind of sick and tired of, like, seeing this region, like, well, not fully in our control. So we're just gonna take it over really quickly and become ours. This army's gonna be moving up here and defeating most of the, uh, Venezuelan troops. With the help of the, uh, with the help of these guys. And America apparently wants our alliance back. That's good. Thank you, America. I'm glad you guys see the errors of your ways and think that, and think of us as good pals. I'm glad of that. But to really become great pals, you have to make sure you stop messing with my spheres of influence. Alright, I don't like that. When you mess with my spheres of influence, it makes me very angry. It makes me almost feel like I can't trust you. Okay? And I do want to trust America. I really do, because we're America. And Americas must trust Americas. But we also have Brazilian nationalists. Which I'll go have these guys go crush. Because they're literally the closest army. Yes, go crush these guys. Then go back into your... Eh, we could probably go crush that one after we go siege up that land. Okay. I think we just finished up sieging up... No, no, no. Stop, stop, stop. Don't you dare do anything. Just conquer Rio de Janeiro. That way we have that land conquered. Over here, we're trying to go conquer... Oh my goodness, France, did you just literally do that? <sighs> okay, so... Anyways, apparently France apparently got in this war, which means I did something no-no bad. They probably were trying to fear, fear someone. Oh, they were trying to fear Brazil. Well, screw you guys! Hell no am I giving up my land! So, let's see. Brazil, let's see, so... Um, how much do I already have? 30%. Hmm. How much would make Puppet add 85? Damn it, I actually can't get it. 
Oh, that's so annoying. Okay. Well, then I'll prioritize. I'll prioritize. Because I don't think... Now that it's a status quo... Wait, wait. I can still propose peace? Oh, yeah! Okay, okay. Never mind, never mind, never mind. Okay, okay. Wait, can I propose peace? No. Damn. Okay. No, it, it basically means, yeah. Ah, uh, damn. I hate status quo. I hate it! Ah. Uh, yeah, if you haven't noticed that, that fully defines how much angry I am. Because that basically means that I can't exactly do anything against these guys. Because basically what that means is I can't separate piece them, and it's it's basically like a coalition war. Where I basically can't separate piece any of these guys, and I can't get any of the separate lands. So I'm basically going to have to decide, do I want to have a... Do I want to have these guys as my vassals? Which I'm probably... Or do I want to take that little piece of land that's really making my borders look ugly? Most likely, and I'm going to be honest with you guys, I'm going to take the one that says Make Puppetry. Because Make Puppetry is much more effective to me, and I think much more worthwhile than just one measly piece of land. Okay? I'm going to be honest with you. That's kind of the truth. And you guys, could you guys go crush this little rebel stack right here? And, but now I'm going to have to be a little bit more cautious, because now we have a potentiality to deal with the French, which means... The French could strike me at any point in time and try to wipe me out. They could be attacking from my col colonies in uh, Africa, or they could try to attack me on the mainland. Most likely what they're going to try to do is attack me from the mainland, and as long as I remain calm and cool, I should be able to destroy them. Yeah, you guys go right here. You guys are going to go siege down the rest of this province, that way I start getting ticking war score. And, yeah. Oh. Already. They're already starting to surface. Wow. Okay, so as soon as as soon as these guys are done sieging down the land, I'm gonna go send this army up north. We're gonna go defeat the. Uh, apparently, we have gas attack capabilities. Yes. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay, that's actually a really bad thing for France. Now that I have gas attack capabilities, this is gonna be really bad. Um, and because of policies, I'll be able to tell something to tell if they actually do have gas attacks themselves. Let's see, defense capabilities. Do they have gas attacks? Um. Have any country with the country is at war? They do not have gas attacks. Okay, so basically France has no gas attacks, and they're fighting me right now. Holy shoot, the French are about to get screwed. <laughs> oh my goodness. That also reminds me, since we do have gas attacks, this probably is a good time to go after uh, other states that we don't like to. Uh, let's see, you guys. Yeah, first of all, let's go send our army up here because I want to make sure I clear up the French. The French are going to be the most annoying people in the world. Also, you guys go over here and start sieging up different lands. Yeah, we're, we're going to have to keep the siege over here continuing, but yeah. Basically, as I see it, France has no chance right now. As long as I have the gas attack capabilities hoarding over their heads, no matter how hard they try to fight me, they're going to lose. Like, until they discover gas attacks themselves. They might have a chance, but it's... Yeah, it's, it's, until that point, we're basically we're basically in good standings. Colombia is apparently having revolts, but I don't see them, so to me, they don't really count. And let's see, Chile, could you guys industrialize or fully attack? Because I really don't want to deal with all these rebels. Well, not rebels. I don't really want to deal with France. I just I don't know. I feel like France is just more of an annoyance right now. They're not. I'm not really worried about them at all. Like. I'll be honest with you people, I'm not really worried about them. I don't know I'll be able to crush France eventually. It's just, the time and effort I'm gonna have to spend to crush them is what I'm really like. Ugh! So, yeah. Sending my northern army to go make sure that we crush those guys. Destroying whatever we can over here. We should... So, it seems like most of the fighting is gonna be happening up here in the north. These guys are apparently going towards Tefe. Fair. Seems like they're all trying to go down here. It seems like Colombia basically basically has this underneath our control, so I won't deal with that. And we have the war goal, so it doesn't really matter whatever they do. We have the war goal, so uh, let's get also army risk management, so we make sure that we can fight against European powers. I mean, I basically have a powerful enough army, and I did not sign a Geneva Convention, so my army should be more powerful than the French is. Should be. If, if my if my calculations are all correct, and you know. Granted, doing math on the internet is very hard. We should be able to defeat these guys. But I just have to transport my 51k. Prepare for the worst. Everyone, always prepare for the worst. 
Once we defeat these guys, we should be able to... I mean, we have 56... We have two little gigantic armies coming over here to go destroy them. And I'm not... Let's see, they're not dispersuaded by the fact I'm sending in this many troops. Let's see, they're sending their troops to... Oh, they're trying to, they're trying to group up with that army. That's something we can't allow. Okay, like, seriously, we can't allow them to group up with that army. If they group up with that army, we basically have a gigantic Brazilian French something. Ugh, this land is so big, it's so hard to walk through. Ugh, why have you not even... Ooh, hey, six prestige. I'll gladly take that. Okay, so let's see. Uh, they're going straight to, to Mesia. Uh, you guys are going... Come on, arrive in that province. Stability. Okay, and you guys are probably done. No, you guys aren't. Uh, you guys are sieging up that land, which is good. Chile's gonna probably... Basically, I'm going to leave Chile to siege up all this land while I try to go deal with these stupid French and Brazilians. Uh, pluralism. Okay. Cost of effective goods. Okay. So, let's see. They should be dispersuaded by this. Wow, they aren't? Huh. They must either think that they have a big enough army to fight me or they're really idiots. Oh, I see. Hey, no. No. Don't you dare move your troops into position to go help the uh, Brazilians. Oh, wow. Yeah, they really... France is really cocky right now. They really think that they could take me on. Okay, have they sent another army over here to maybe back that claim up? No. And I am spending a lot of time trying to watch through this surge of communism. Even if they... It, it shouldn't really matter, because even if they do have a bigger army, I have gas attacks, which is going to just murder them. I mean, just murderize them. Okay. Also have two armies moving into position fairly quickly. And let's see, are you guys done sieging? Yes, you guys are. Move down here. Have a lot of different troops that are just like trying to siege my coastline back. Let's go right there. Okay. You guys go on a straight path to go crush these guys. Go back here and start sieging up that. Let's see. Yeah, you guys are getting up there pretty quickly. Inform uh, game prestige. I'm about to go conquer these guys. What do I care about their opinions of me? Uh, actually sounds really bad about me, actually. I should probably care a lot about what they care. Oh, and Brazilians did not move. Oh, this is gonna be brutal. Yeah, let's... I kinda, I kinda wanna watch this battle unfold. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, wow. That is... Oh. It wasn't even a competition. That was just me completely crushing them. It was like a, a slaughter of epic proportion. Okay. And we lost some ammunition. What we're going to do, though, is because I don't want to deal with the French starting to siege up all my land, is I'm going to try to block the French up so they don't, like, become a major nuisance. All right, you guys go right there. You guys go right there. Basically, we're going to try to block the French up from trying to, you know, escape out of my land, and we're going to slowly block them in. Ooh, economic responsibility. I like that. And I'll probably have to come back up here and reconquer all this land, but... But right now, this is a little bit more important. Keep conquering all the coastline. Let's see, have they started an invasion of my colonies? No, they haven't. What are you guys doing? Get your butts in the gear. You have colonies right here. It's like everyone hate you, France? Oh, that'd be so nice if everyone hated France right about now. Uh, okay. Now let's see, let's keep going. And laissez-faire or planned economy? I'm pretty sure we're supporting planned economy, but, you know, I'm not entirely sure. Okay, and we're moving both of our armies in. 62k, that's probably causing a lot of problems, like, economic problems. Wow, you are one cocky. Huh. Wow. They really do believe that they can beat me. Yeah, I, I was about to say, France, I, I, I don't know what kind of thing you're smoking, but I, I suggest you guys move back, because you guys aren't going to beat me in that battle. Oy. Okay. Let me make sure these guys are disarriving, because I kind of want them to group out before I attack them again. 17th, uh, 10th, 15th. Uh, yeah, we should be we should be arriving later than them, which is good, so that they can move, and we basically get even more fortified positions. And let's see, France is definitely curled up right over there, which is what we need. Um, we're basically, like I said, we're basically blocking up the French army. I don't really care about the Brazilian army, but the French army is the one we care about. Because the French army is the one that's going to cause us the most difficulty. Okay. Let's see. We got armies right there. We're slowly 
And we're slowly starting to make our ways all the way up to French lands and all the way around. And I want to thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.